Hello Excel champions, it's William aka Dr. Excel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a template to track your work hours and see if you have some overtime. Um, so I'm going to show you how to build this kind of template. We're going to build this together and I will give you the file which is going to be right below the video. There's a link for you so you can download it and follow with me and I'm going to show you right away how to build this. So let's build this. So first I need the date um, of the, the the first Monday of the week. So if I take January 21st, 19, should be a Monday, I think. Uh, yeah, that's a Monday. So that's going to be, I'm going to say like this, week, week off, like this. I'm going to put it a bit the side week off i'm gonna put some format here um now we need the days of the week so we're gonna first start here monday and uh, so we're going to display it as we're just gonna put yeah here we're gonna put the day of the week and here we're gonna put the uh the date so here we're gonna put uh, we're gonna put it as a short date and here we're going to put it uh, as just the day, uh, the, the, the name of the day. So it's going to be D, 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 D. Like this. Um, I'm going to center it here. And we need for the, um, for the whole week. So I'm going to add uh, one day each time. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And here, same thing. I'm going to expand the formula. So here we have all the um, I'm going to like this. Um, so we have the dates, we have the number of the days. So now we're going to say uh, we need um, time for for the morning, for example, morning start and um, afternoon start and uh, so it's gonna be two periods of work actually I don't need this line I think um, and basically we're gonna put all the values here um, like this so for example let's say I start at 8 on Monday um, and 8 and I, uh, I finished at 12 um, and in the afternoon I come back at 1 p.m. and I finished at 6 so uh, so it's gone going to compute the daily hours so for that we're just going to sum it we're going to say um, end time minus start time for the afternoon plus end time minus start time for the morning uh, and this displays this displays it at, as hours so be careful these are hours in Excel so it's computed at, as part of the day so nine hours it's about 38 percent of one day so that's how it's going to be displayed in Excel uh, so I'm going to put it back as time uh, like this uh, now let's say that uh, we're going to put some uh, some dummy uh, values in the rest of the of the of the table this uh, and I'm going to paste the values everywhere else uh, not on the weekend like this and I have to paste the format as well uh, I'm going, just going to put it as uh, time but I don't want the seconds I want custom uh, time uh, I 
just want like this 830 um, yeah and I'm going to put the formula everywhere so this gives me the time worked um, so now I have all the daily hours I'm going to compute the weekly hours weekly hours um, and basically what we're gonna do we're going to sum up all of this and so like this the problem with the hours as I said is that it's considered as part of the date part of days so here it's more than one day so it tells me uh, that it's uh, basically doesn't display the days that have passed it uh, just re displays the reminder as um, well as hours so weekly hours I have to uh, display this with another format I can change it uh, in the format cells I can go into so into uh, into date into time you know by default it tells me for example uh, it doesn't display the days that have passed but here I can change it I can put it like this and display for example if days have have, uh, have passed keep them in the uh, total so here we're gonna say it's we're gonna see it's 39 uh, hours actually which uh, it's 15 plus 24 so that's that's okay that's uh, that's correct uh, 39 hours I want the same um, I don't want the seconds here so custom so I'm going to remove the seconds so it tells me 39 hours so now we can uh, display we can uh, put the the amount in your contract for example and uh, maybe it's uh, 35 I don't know and then we can compute the other time uh, and over time is going to be what it's going to be if if the weekly hours are um, above the contract time then we're going to, to display we're going to display the weekly hours minus the contract time and otherwise nothing because there's no overtime and here the problem at, at, um, again it's that it's uh, so here it didn't work format cells I have to um, contract yeah I'm going to remove this as well um, here I'm going to paste the format below um, so what it means, if, for example, if I uh, if I remove this day, for example, I'm just going to remove this temporarily. Yeah, I have no overtime, so that works. Uh, yeah. So now what we're gonna do as well, and uh, we're gonna put a conditional formatting here to put it uh, to highlight it if um, if there's some overtime. For example this way you can claim it back maybe from your employer uh, what do I want to do I want to highlight if it's greater than than zero and I'm going to put it like this if I don't have any value I'm still gonna be highlighted so I want something which is uh, Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it like this, but instead I'm going to display the value zero. Uh, so if I have no overtime, it's gonna be in white. Uh, that's maybe more uh, that's maybe more convenient to do. Um, and here I'm gonna put the same formula here. And um, yeah, and now we just have to put some format uh, some format around this. So I'm gonna put some borders around the um description here here as well daily hours and uh we're gonna put something here start and uh, we're gonna put some uh, we're gonna put everything in white around this this all of this is going to be bought um, 
filled with white. Uh, this as well. Put white everywhere. Uh, white, white. That's good. Up. This, this way you can print it. Uh, it's going to be nicer when you print it. Uh, we're going to put this in standard blue as well. Where's my blue? It's this one. Um, put some uh, some lines over there. Where are the lines? I'm going to put some lines like this outside borders. Uh, and here I'm going to um, put some here as well. Gonna put a separation here so format format I'm gonna put uh, no I want the borders I'm going to put a border like this in the middle okay so I don't know what I did but it changed the uh, I just wanted to change the border and it changed also the format like this is better and now I can I'm just gonna copy paste the format actually like this so it's better you have a separation and um, yeah that's good and now the thing is it should work for uh, every week if I put uh, if I had one week you, I'm gonna have the, the whole timetable for uh, for next week um, and this way we can track our work hours for the whole week and see um, if we have some overtime um, so that's it that's a good uh, start for a template of course um, you can improve it and, uh, and tweak it a little bit to to, to fit your needs so uh, don't forget to download the file it's going to be right below the video there's going to be a link for you um, download it improve it um, and I'll see you tomorrow for a new Excel tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe. This way you'll be notified as soon as I publish it. See you tomorrow, champions. Ciao.